Hi everyone and thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. So in this one we are going to check out this amazingly beautiful Django based college management system wherein the admin can perform number of tasks right like adding students, adding staff members, adding courses, adding subjects and all and also we have a separate panel for student and staff members in this application through which they can raise a leave request they can you know uh, talk to the admin like what happens in, on whatsapp nowadays right so all that we will cover in this video and i would like you to share this video in your groups uh, with your friends so that they can also come on my channel they can also check out these amazing tutorials amazing applications which i share in my videos on my youtube channel Right, so let's not waste any more time and straight away dive into the tutorial and check out this beautiful application. So this is the admin dashboard which you're seeing right now. Okay, I'm logged in as a as an admin, right? And these are different types of things like total staffs, total students, total courses, total subjects, which the admin will see as cards, right? Then we have student and staff chart. We have total subjects in each courses. So these are pie charts, as you know, right? If you'll hover on the pie chart, you'll be able to see, you know, the rele relevant information. Then we have these bar charts also in place, which are interactive uh, bar charts. Okay, so now we are going to check out uh, the manage staff section, wherein uh, the admin can check out the information of different staff members who are working in his college. So these are the staff members right now we have in the database and if the admin wants to edit the information so he can simply click this edit button and he goes to this edit page where he can you know uh, wherein he can simply add the information he can simply edit the information like this right so once the uh, information gets edited he can come back on manage staff and he will be able to see the edited information like this. Similarly, he can also delete the staff member, okay, just by hitting this delete button. Now, there is another button called add staff through which he can add a new staff member. So, I'm going to add a demo staff member for uh, now for this video. And here I go. So, force at the rate gmail.com. And here I'm going to put the username as horse. Password is horse123, then first name is horse, last name is also horse, and horse cars 250. Okay, fine. So we are done with entering the details for the user, and I'm going to just save it somewhere so that uh, we can use it later on. Just want to show you the staff panel also, right? So I think we have added the information successfully. Yes, now if I come on manage staff, I will be able to see the newly added staff details over here like this. Okay, we can edit it anytime, right? Because we are accessing it as an admin. So that's the reason the edit functionality is also visible to us. Then we have something called manage student with the help of which we can manage the students related information. So it works very much similar to uh, the staff panel, right? And we can add new student like this. So I'm going to add a demo student uh, profile over here for now. And let's make it cat at the rate gmail.com. And here I'm going to add into the password as cat123, cat, cat and username is also cat and address is okay so i'm going to select ashok nagar vzb and i would like to go with msc it gender male female and session year profile pic okay so i'll have to upload a pic let me quickly download a pic from the internet so Google cat image images and let us use this one for now. Okay, so I'm going to simply save it as okay. 
it's not going to do save image as okay no let's go with this one can we save it as an image yes we can so i'm going to put it on my desktop for now cat and coming back on the portal and here i'm going to upload the image like this okay add student so let's see whether we'll be able to add the student or not yes so we have added the student successfully let's come on manage student and yes we can see all the information that we've uh, you know used for creating the student's profile over here i'm going to simply copy this email id and put it over here and cat123 okay so we have now two demo profiles one for the staff and the other for the student let's come on manage courses so you know the courses which you get to see over here under add student right so these are coming from this manage courses if i simply add a new course here let's say um let's go with mtech okay and i'm going to add this course coming back on manage course and here i can see the information has got added successfully coming on add student i can see the course details over here i think no it's not visible why is it so let me check it out mtech okay manage course uh, i think i'll have to add the subject also maybe mtech course name okay and coming back on manage course so we have two mtechs let me delete one and coming on manage subject here i'm going to add the subject now so let's add a subject with name mathematics so we have mathematics in uh, you know mtech and btech first year and who is going to teach the mtech uh, i would like horse to teach mtech to us coming back on add student and now i think i'll be able to see mtech here no it's not yet visible to us let me refresh it and no it's not there coming back on manage subject uh, we have added mathematics successfully add subject manage session okay so this is also fine uh add session okay let me add a new session so 2096 2024 to mtech is of four years right so i'm going to simply click on 28 and let's select november 13 add session here okay coming back on manage student add student and here we should see courses okay so i think this is something which is not working at present it's not taking the newly added courses so that is something which we'll have to fix but definitely it can be fixed uh, right so no problem let's come on the next thing which is view attendance right so what i what i'll quickly do is i'll show you the uh, student panel first and after that let's see how this uh, attendance thing works okay so i will come on let me open this application in incognito mode and here i'm going to simply run it on 8000 and here i will have to put the student id so this is the one which we created right in the meeting earlier okay so this is how the student panel looks like and here you can see the student's name and coming back to view attendance so here i don't see any attendance right now subject is also not visible to us home okay so it's completely blank altogether uh coming back to the admin panel here i would like to see mathematics session here so this is for fetching the attendance we don't have any attendance or mathematics right now for php yes attendance date okay so i would like to pull the attendance wanda okay she is absent and she he's the one who's present and let's come on home okay so this is something where i'll have to show you the details which have got updated so as you know earlier the students uh, were eight and now it's nine uh, Earlier the staff members were four, now it is five, portal course is six, portal subject six, right? So well, the way, the moment you update anything in the table automatically, this graph also starts showing you the updated information, right? 
coming back to uh, view attendance so here we can view the attendance and then student feedback is something where we can check the feedback given by the students so here I would like to simply click on um, send feedback and hi this system is awesome okay I would like to send it as a feedback to the admin leave a feedback I've sent it successfully coming back to the admin panel and here I can check the student uh, feedback so as you can see you know in real time we got the feedback so it's like a whatsapp communication system right with the help of which staff members can communicate their things to admin admin can talk to staff members and you know things like that can happen in between admin and student also now I would like to reply to this feedback so here I go thank you dear and let's just reply to this message reply sent okay and coming back to the students panel here I can see the feedback given by the admin so it's great right now I would like to apply for leave and let's do it like this so I would like to apply for one day leave uh, that is 22nd I am not well sir please give me leave for one day okay and here I would like to simply apply it and as you can see the status is currently pending coming back to the admin portal I will have to check the students leave okay so here I can see you know two buttons approve and reject with the help of which I can do I can either approve the request raised by the student named cat or I can reject it so if I just reject it what is going to happen let's check it out coming back to the students panel so it shows rejected okay now I would like to simply come on uh, the staff panel and let's check it out how it looks like and what all things can we do with the help of the staff panel okay so I have logged in as a staff member now and I would first like to take the attendance right so here I go uh, because the subject allotted to me by the admin is mathematics that's the reason I'm able to see this uh, subject over here and fifth student attendance date so I would like to take the attendance for this uh, date 13 6 2024 save attendance data attendance saved and let's come back on the admin panel and check out the attendance details new attendance and I would like to see the attendance for mathematics for this and okay so right now it's not showing me but yes that's how you know the attendance can be taken right now uh, let's come on view update attendance fetch attendance and okay so right now I think no student is allocated to me that's the reason it is showing like this coming back to the ads manage staff panel and here I would simply like to edit oh uh, okay this seems fine I am just checking something here manage staff and here I would like to simply edit the details of the student named cat course is MSC IT this is fine okay so this is MSC IT course fine and we have selected the first session which is this okay then comes your manage staff let me edit the information for this teacher okay so this also seems fine add subject is fine manage session we have covered add session also is something that we have covered uh, view attendance is something which seems not functioning properly right maybe I am missing out something here I will have to check it once uh, okay this is MSC IT fine and here I have to come on add stuff this is fine manage courses MSC IT add course 
manage subject this is let me do one thing let me select msc it as a subject name and staff member okay i think i mapped the course correctly now with the subject and if i come over here and i pull the attendance what's going to happen so it's not showing me the uh, you know which okay this is a session this is fine coming back over here and we mark the attendance for 613 okay okay i think uh, the issue is with this attendance date fine so uh, this should be something different maybe this is something which is not working fine no problem we'll fix it coming back on a result let's check out session here this is fine fetch student so we can see the student's name over here and i would like to assignment marks to 50 exam marks 100 save result i've saved the result let's check out how this apply leave works so if the staff wants to apply for leave i would not be able to come on 29th of this month okay and here i go apply for leave coming back to the admin portal and staff leave here i can see the staff leave let's approve it and if i approve it so how the staff member sees it he sees it as approved same thing we can do uh, with the feedback also right so with the help of this we can send a feedback about this portal or about the uh, you know college to the admin now i would like to come over here and log out first and log in as a student right we just entered the marks for this person using the ad using the teacher portal right so okay total subjects we can see the total subjects as well earlier there was nothing visible to us over here it was showing us zero view attendance okay start date 13 and date is 6 which attendance attendance data for mathematics so there is no data view result i can see the result so the status is pass right so this is you know how this whole application works if you want to uh, you know create these kind of applications you can let me know about it for uh, you know for developing something like this you need to know the in and out of the front end and back end development and if you want me to help you guys in all this please let me know on the number which is getting reflected on your screen leave your comments in the uh, description section below that's it from my side in this lecture i hope you guys enjoyed it bye bye take care and have a great great day ahead guys